Hello guys, since we've been following my recent manic whole episode thing starting this summer pretty closely, I thought that I would update you all on what's going on. Um, right now I would say I'm a little more down than usual, so like closer to depression, but I wouldn't say that I'm outright depressed. I've been taking a new medication and I went off my old one, so that means I'm now taking um, lithium and respiral at night and I'm off of the Latuda and um, Lamictal. So I've had this medicine switch up and I would say that it's helping me or actually the respiral helped me come down from mania and then the lithium, I think, really helps with the mood stabilizing. I hope that this one keeps me out of future run-ins with mania because that would be lovely if I could, you know, move forward with life and not worry about the mania or anything popping up if I, you know, do something or have too much stress, you know. But... Um, I would say that in the last couple of weeks with the two new medications, I came down from, um, mania and all these sort of delusions, some might call it, that I have had over the course of it. I mean, it's weird because... I'm usually pretty good at distinguishing what's real and what wasn't or, you know, like what was actually there and what I could actually show to other people if I like took a picture of it or whatever, you know, and there are some things that happen when I was manic that wouldn't have happened if I wasn't manic, but were real nonetheless. And it still confuses me. I don't like to think that it was all just a hallucination. Um, and that it's part of a delusion because me thinking about what happened and kind of changing my whole world view based on that is kind of what people would consider part of mania. But I think I'm at the point now where upon reflecting on it, it's something that happened that was strange. And um, sometimes I think that when I'm manic, I run on a different like frequency level. I know that sounds weird, but it's just like weird things happen to me that normally wouldn't happen to me when I'm not manic. And I've watched different videos or listened to music that supposedly would help you do a certain thing just because you aligned yourself with that frequency. And it's really weird to think that, but I mean, I started believing it because there's no way that weird things would happen to me if I was just, you know, normal. I don't think that all of these things that I experienced when I was manic happened by chance and solely because I was manic. I think that there's something else going on. And people have told me this is all part of your delusion, that there's nothing else going on. Reality is what it is. But I am a firm believer that... Um, Reality is not what we think it is. So I don't want to like put any of my weird ideas onto you, but I just don't think that, you know, me seeing you or talking into my camera or sitting on my bed, that's not all that there is to me right now. There's a lot of other things going around me that I can't see and stuff that people can't scientifically explain so that's just my whole take on you know reality and why i experienced reality 
differently from what I normally would when I'm manic. It's because there are all these other things going around around me and they're giving me these messages and having me see things in different ways or experience things in different ways. Um, I guess that's how I think about it now. I don't know if that's the right way to think about it or if it's the healthiest way to think about it, but I hate to say that everything that I experienced when I was manic was all just, you know, a lie and part of my brain fooling me into believing something that wasn't there. Um, I think to an extent everything that I've seen, it's not straight up like, oh, I literally see some ocean right outside my window sort of thing. It's not like super unrealistic like that. It's like my hallucinations are like me seeing a blind, like, you know how blinds sway? And if they're like separate little planks, they kind of move. It was weird. This was before when I was at school and I was really manic, but I was like, I could stare at my blind swaying for so long because it looked so majestic. Like, it wasn't just blinds anymore. It was like I could see every place that the blinds had been and every place that it was going to go all at the same time. So it was like a smooth, just like swaying. It was, oh my god, I, <laughs> I, I don't know how to describe it. But it's stuff like that. If I were to look at that blinds right now, I'm sure that it would not be the same. And... It's just little stuff like that, like seeing what's there in a different way that may or may not be a hallucination, you know, maybe it was just that's the way people see it if they are, you know, seeing things on that level. I don't know, but it was very strange to me and there would be other things just in nature that would move a different way or sparkle a different way. Like I could see things that I normally wouldn't see. And it was also strange and people are tell me don't do that. Don't look at it. Don't pay attention to it. But you know, I can't help it. It's just, it's almost magical. So that is me and my ideas about where I've been. Um, I've also just right now been sleeping a lot more than I would like, but that's all part of coming down from mania, I think. Just feeling a little more tired, and I'm sure that you guys can kind of hear in my voice sometimes where I'm at. You know, the amount of expression that I put in my voice or the tone that I use when I speak, but, um, yeah, so that's the little update, I guess, and I will see you guys later.